And do you guys see the uh, Paterno movie that just came out? <laughs> not, not good news for the producers of Paterno. I saw it, and uh, it was pretty intense, especially for me personally, because I was there when it all went down. I mean, not in the locker room, but I was at Penn State when I was going to school at Penn State when it happened. And I remember how upset everyone got when Joe Paterno got fired. People were losing their mind. They were like, Sean, can you believe it? Can you believe they fired Joe Paterno just for turning a blind eye on decades of pedophilia? Can you believe it? I remember thinking, yeah, I can. I got fired from a job at Penn State for being a little heavy-handed with the cold cuts on the on-campus Quiznos. So yes, I know what it's like to lose a job at Penn State because of corruption, okay? I turned a blind eye to extra heavy roast beef sandwiches, all right? And I suffered the consequences. True story, guys. Got fired from the Penn State Quiznos, moved out here to sunny Los Angeles to pursue my dream of working at a different Quiznos. <laughs> which I was able to do, I was able to pull that off. I, uh, I remember the interview very vividly. I went in, had the interview back and forth, and the guy's like, okay, I'm gonna hire you. I just have one last question. I'm like, shit, that's a lot of pressure. Do you live here? Or are you on vacation? <laughs> that was his question in the Quiznos interview. Yeah, buddy, I'm on vacation. The worst vacation of my entire life. Why would I go to the beach to catch rays when I can catch them next to this toasting oven for $6.75 an hour? I just love the idea that he had to ask that question, right? Like, who, who burned this guy? Someone just there, he's like, all right, this vacation's over, I'm out of here. It's like, never again. Never again on my watch. Worst part about working in the fast food industry is the training videos, right? Not to brag, I'm a grown man. I know how to make a sandwich. <laughs> Yet here I am watching a video of another grown man explaining, on how, explaining how to make a sandwich. Now, if that's not humiliating enough, my manager's sitting six feet across from me watching me watch the video on how to make a sandwich. And I'm like, I should kill myself. And I'm like, Sean, don't do it, all right? They got an employee discount and you love Sun Chips, all right? Let's see where this goes. Watching the training video, the host comes out. He's like, hey everyone, we're proud to announce our new honey bourbon chicken sandwich. Everyone loves it. Isn't that right, Jay Leno? Hey, go down here and everything else. Jay Leno made a cameo in the Quiznos training video. And then I was like, oh, I should kill myself. Because Jay Leno's the most successful comedian in the world, and he's still working for Quiznos. <laughs> I'll never forget my favorite audition of all time. Uh, it, was, uh, it was for a reality show. They're like, hey, come down. We're looking for angry comedians. So I drove down to Redondo Beach. I uh, yelled at a woman for seven minutes, and they're like, okay, awesome. That's great. I'm like, well, that was weird, because I just... They say get angry, and I just said a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, at one point I said, this town is racist against Irish people. <laughs> Went home, didn't think anything of it, just thought it was a cathartic experience. I get an email the next day, and it says, congratulations. You've just been cast in Spike Television's first reality pilot, America's Biggest Asshole. <laughs> and I was thrilled! I was calling up friends back home. I made it, I made it. <laughs> Show up day one, they're like, come in and you gotta host, you gotta roast the host. It was hosted by Greg Giraldo. I, I didn't really have any roast jokes prepared, so I came in, didn't really have anything good. A guy next to me, he came in, and he walks in and he's like, hey you, when you opened up that tomb on live television, you look like a total idiot. Now, what he had done was he had honestly confused stand-up comedian Greg Giraldo with news reporter Geraldo <laughs> in what was the greatest roast joke of all time. <laughs> so, you know, it's a reality show, right? They have to have challenges, okay? First challenge, 
Here's what they're going to do. They're going to drop us off in downtown Los Angeles with body cameras on, okay? And what they're, what they're going to do, they're going to let us loose. And for every person that calls you an a-hole, you're going to get 100 points. Also, not a good sign for the show's longevity when the executive producer feels uncomfortable saying the title. <laughs> it's like, okay, you called an a-hole, you get 100 points. I'm like, is that $100? Uh, we don't know, but you want those points. I'm like, all right, I guess I really want these points. <laughs> So I'm wandering around the streets of downtown Los Angeles. I come up to a bus stop, uh, and I'm like, oh, there's a really pale guy here. I, I know what I'll do. I'll make fun of him in front of everyone. That'll Maybe he'll call me an a-hole, get 100 points on top of show business. So I walk up to the bus stop, and I go, hey, everybody. Never do that. <laughs> People are completely terrified. After uh, they stop freaking out, I go, hey, everybody, look at this. Look at this guy over here. Look at this super pale guy. Hey, dude, what's your deal? What are you, some sort of albino? And then just this sad albino guy turned to me and said, yes, yes, I am. I'm like, no! No, why? I, I deserve to be on this show. So that was, that was like the bad challenge, right? So then it's like, okay, we got we to reverse it. We got to do another set of challenges. We're taking you to North Hollywood. I'm like, oh, awesome, no ho, love it. Let's go. They dropped us off in North Hollywood. First off, they put fake blood all over our shirts. Then they gave us a giant body bag with a dummy in it that on the side read LA County Morgue. And they go, okay, here's your challenge. You're gonna drag this giant body bag around and the first person that could get someone to give them a ride to a junkyard, they get 200 points. <laughs> All right, I guess I really want these points. So I'm sitting here dragging this dead body through the streets of North Hollywood. And while I'm doing that, in the distance, I just hear a faint... It's North Hollywood. I don't think anything of it. 30 seconds later, the production van comes screeching up. They throw the door open. They're like, get in the van! Get in the van! Now, in hindsight, I should have left the fake dead body prop there. But instinct took over. And I grabbed the body, threw it in the van. We peeled out. We make it like two blocks. Cops pull us over. They, Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up. They had their guns drawn. I'd never seen that. Guns drawn. Come out. And they're just yelling at me, put your hands against the wall. Put your hands against the wall. Now, I literally could not find a wall to put my hands on. What I was able to find was a clear storefront window to a Supercuts. So I just put my hands up against it. I see the guy in there getting his, cutting the hair and just shaking his head. I'm trying to mouth Spike TV pilot presentation to the guy. <laughs> Finally, the cops come up, cuff me, push me against the storefront window, drag me back. They unzip the body bag, pull out the dummy, look at me dead in the eye, and he goes, is this your idea of a joke, you asshole? <laughs> like, oh, ah! look who just got 100 points, baby. 